Okay, so with wet and wet painting, the goal is to paint fast. So you get those magical bleeds happening between your strokes. So whatever you're painting, whether it's a landscape, floral piece, uh, animals, you if you're trying to do wet and wet, you need to paint quickly. So this is a good practice in painting really quick and not overthinking your ne next steps. And we're not able to overthink it because we're just doing these strokes. So I'm just using the side of my brush and going back and forth like this, making sure my stroke stays really wet. Then I'm gonna alternate color or value and direction of my strokes. And see, we can get that turquoise bleeding into our blue because we're working very fast. And I'm just barely grazing or touching these strokes together. I'm going to stick with just blues um, because if you're, you know, mixing warm and cool colors, then you're going to get some areas that get really murky and muddy because you're mixing contrasting colors when you mix warm and cool colors. So we're just going to do blues. We're just going to do blues, yellow greens, blue greens, And another thing to think about too with this tutorial or this practice is alternating colors and making it look more tossed versus a lot of clumps of Prussian blue together and then turquoise over here. You want to spread it out, spread out the angle so it looks more tossed. So again, helps when you're not overthinking things too much. Bring some yellow green up here to kind of ping pong that. So again, helps when you're not overthinking things too much. Bring some yellow green up here to kind of ping pong that. So working quickly is hard if you're in your head a lot or maybe you're a beginner and you're just kind of struggling with what's going on in your head and what you should do next. And so practicing really basic abstracts like this is going to help you just kind of lean into the, the flow state a little bit more. But you would paint quickly like this for a lot of different scenarios. Whenever you're painting wet and wet, you want to work relatively quickly so that the paint doesn't dry while you're still trying to blend or um, add these, you know, little bloom moments where the yellow green is bursting into the blue. So it's good to practice this every once in a while, even if you're more advanced at watercolor. It's just fun and it looks fun too. A fun, bright, abstract piece. So that would not happen if these two areas were dry or this area was dry. They both have to be wet, so that's why you have to work quick. And in terms of color, I like to balance where things are lining up and create zigzags. So we have Prussian blue kind of making its way down here, greens and yellows. So we're gonna keep weaving those around so that they don't just line up in a straight line. If you struggle with painting quick, my best tip for you is to just put it on the paper and if you don't like it, you can always start over. But even if you don't like it at first, just keep adding these strokes on your paper because the more you add, the less, uh, or the more distracting 
the piece will be so you won't notice the little areas that you maybe don't like. So just keep painting these strokes until you get to a fuller piece. And then you can make the decision if you wanna start over or if you don't like it. But again, this is just for practice. It's not like we're grading you on this or anything. This is manganese blue with lemon yellow deep. Just using manganese blue, Prussian blue, and lemon yellow deep in various mixtures for this piece. But you could do this with reds and pinks and oranges. You could do this with green and yellow instead of blue and yellow. Blues, blues, blues. Watch the magic happen. When these little blooms happen, make sure you just let it go and do its magic by itself. If you try to mess with it, you will kind of muddy and dirty that area. But if you do want something to bleed, and it isn't bleeding, you can grab more of that pigment and just kind of scoop it if you want. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun. Remember, this is all about practice. Uh, if you mess up or if something doesn't look quite right, just chalk it up to practice. This is developing that muscle memory and that eye for color and composition and just being able to turn off that logical side of your brain and going straight into the creative side and letting things flow and working quickly with watercolor. If you need extra tips with wet and wet painting, check out our tech check out our beginner watercolor techniques. We go over a lot of stuff with wet and wet in these various videos. So make sure you check them out. We'll link them here and in the bottom of the video, the description. And if you need, you know, all the supplies I use in the video, 
check the description. I've got all the links for you. Thanks so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video.